I'm Kervin with the Howdy Box, and this is our 2018 robot that made it all the way to be finalists in its division at Championship. We started out with two original goals for this robot. One, to be able to take the, one of these cubes and put it in the switch, which is the balancing scale on the field, which is about a foot off the ground. Looks like 6377 attempting to put a power cube into the blue switch. That way they can finally own it. Goal number two is to be able to lift two robots simultaneously about yay high off the ground. The way we were going to do that was that it would be a much taller A-frame here in the center. And then it would have two forks that would fall down. Robots would drive up on them, and then they would lift themselves up. But that didn't work out so well in practice. In the end, the lifter didn't work out so well. Got two robots together over here on the blue side. Then we ended up taking off the A-frame and all of the lifter components. And that is what you see now. This has given us many advantages. With the lifter, we were very top heavy and we were very prone to tipping. We don't do that anymore. We're also much lighter, meaning we can go much faster, putting many more cubes with the switch. On top of all that, our defense game has been greatly improved and we can knock around robots twice our size. They're getting pushed right out of the way with some defense from Howdy Boss 37, 36, sorry, 63, 77. Howdy Boss playing some defense there for the Red Alliance. But what does that all look like? As you can see, it shoots cubes quite a ways. It's quite powerful. But what makes all that work? Well, that's the magic of the robot. We take power from the battery here, and then that goes to this little fancy board here. That's called the power distribution board, and it sends power to all of our other robot components, like your motors and pneumatics and all that kind of stuff, all the fun stuff. This little box here is the brain. That makes the robot do all of its fancy stuff. All of the code goes onto there, and then tells them which motors to turn at which times and which solenoids to fire. Finally, this little white box here is our radio. That is how we communicate with the computers and field so that we can actually control our robots in the matches. On top of that, we have all of our motors and pneumatics, as I've talked about. Here, for instance, pistons, and hidden behind there are some motors. We have an additional six motors hidden down in the base of the robot, driving our wheels. This is what allows us to really go fast and hit others hard. This whole robot alone costs over $5,000, and we need your help raising that kind of money. Thank you for coming to see Packbot and enjoy the rest of our telethon.